We got this story from the independent bizarre debate moment. Trump wildly claims Haitian migrants are eating pet dogs and cats. Oh, heavens me. Here we go. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase, make America great again. She's destroying this country. And if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the, the people on television. My dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people I'm on television the saying their dog was eaten by. The people that went there. Why? Why is it that a city manager has more credibility than a local resident? Answer me this, David Weir. First of all, why are you debating with Donald Trump? Let Kamala answer that question. Let her respond to Trump. Why is Trump debating the moderator? It's ridiculous. Secondly, as I just mentioned before, again, I don't care what a politician has to say when you've got local residents saying it now. I do believe that the claims of pets being eaten like dogs, I don't know that that's true. But again, that's just me. But how about this? Charlie Kirk front lines. Our front lines TPUSA team visits Springfield, Ohio today. Everyone they spoke to has heard stories of people's pets being eaten, as well as ducks and geese disappearing. Here we go. Come here, you don't want to be eating you? <laughs> You're gonna be next, boy. I ain't eating nothing off of a barbecue pit around here. Ducks. Ducks are disappearing. So the migrants are eating geese, you think? That's Have you heard of pets being abducted? Yep. Cats are a delicacy in Haiti. So it's not that they're poor and eating them because they don't have other food. It is a delicacy like someone would eat escargot. And then I heard that stuff on Facebook and I thought, oh, I better watch my dogs. Well, that, that wasn't verified. Springfield, Ohio right now is a tinderbox. You see what the local just said? The woman said, I heard that on Facebook. And the guy says, well, that wasn't verified. These are, these are good, honest people. They're killing cats. They're eating geese. They're, they're crashing cars. One of these is going to light and it's going to be bad. Part of that is because in the state of Ohio, you cannot use lethal force to protect property, and pets are considered property. Are you carrying a firearm now to keep yourself safe? How has that changed? How yes, I did. I, I got a couple guns, and I'm not afraid to use them. I was raised at the hills. Wow, this is scary. Our town is a bomb, especially with the influx of immigrants or whatever you want to say, people. It's a, it's a time bomb ready to go off. Now, I got to say, J.D. Vance had a tremendous response when Caitlin Collins said, you claim, you know, Trump claimed dogs are being eaten. And J.D. Vance says it's not been debunked. OK, they're saying there's no credible reports, but we made memes about this because the media is not talking about what happened to the town of Springfield, Ohio. It's a town of 58,000 people that received 20,000 Haitian immigrants. Why? How can that city sustain that? It's a recipe for conflict. Look what these people are saying. We don't, I, I don't want any of that to, 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 to boil over and, and go off like a bomb. Now, Trump brings up the dog thing. And you get them calling it bizarre. This is fascinating. They say Trump's false claim. This is why I hate the media. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Because that's what we do here at TimCast. I have not seen any credible reports that dogs have been taken. Even front lines, that video, they just say people are claiming they've heard it happen. That, that would suggest there is very light circumstantial evidence. Rumors in the town among the people who live there of pets being taken. Likely the origin of this story. 
How do you get more evidence of it happening? That's a tough question. Until you find someone who comes out and says, it was me, it was my dog, they took my dog. And we can probably find those people. But it's not debunked. If anything, there is a, a slight uh, a bias in favor of it being true. But they call it a false claim. Here you go. Reddit. Because I have Google. Three years ago, Haitian girl crashing at my house talked about eating cats. So I let a girl, a woman, 19, crash at my house. This is... um r slash advice at my house for a friend. She is very nice and polite. She's been with us for two years now. She's in a bad house situation where she was going to end up homeless. Where I live is a very, it's very cold and not safe on the streets for a young black girl. She's only been here one day so far and everything was pretty okay. I also happen to have 13 cats and two dogs. She's been fine with them, petting and talking to them. Clearly not super familiar with cats, but not mean whatsoever. We were talking about her home country, Haiti, obviously. And she mentioned that they eat cats there. And went into a little detail on how they prepare them. It threw me off for a minute, but I did not. But I did read about their culture, and I understand there are differences in how American and Haiti see pets. I genuinely don't think my animals are in danger, but my boyfriend is very, very upset, like wants her out right now. But it's my choice at the end. I genuinely don't know how I feel. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't think she's a bad person, just different, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Three years ago. And it even says edited three years ago. This is not a new post. If you don't think your pets are in danger, I don't think either you need to worry, surely, or she'll respect your cats. Okay, look, the point is this. The idea that in Haiti they eat cats is easy to Google search. Easy. Now, what I've found in doing light research is that it is not a common practice. It happens sometimes. Well, there you go. So how is it bizarre to claim that when 20,000 Haitian migrants come, people have their cats eaten? It's not. There's secondhand stories. We need firsthand reports. We need witness testimony from people who've lost their animals. We have heard and seen pictures of people carrying geese and ducks and other things like that. So this story, it's a real story, okay? Whether or not it turns out that dogs are being taken or who knows what, I don't know that I believe that, right? But they're acting like it's been debunked already when it's not. Now tell me this. Ohio is sending troopers and $2.5 million to a city that's seen an influx of Haitian migrants. I don't don't get it. ABC News reported this yesterday at 6.58 p.m. You know, I wish Trump had a better better prep team. They could have said, here's the latest reporting going in. Ohio is sending in $2.5 million. So when Trump says there are reports, this is how you do it. Why are we getting reports that these Haitian migrants are eating people's cats and they're capturing ducks and geese? I mean, these stories sound insane. Who's going to believe this stuff? But then you get a photo that's com- coming out showing uh, some guy carrying a goose and people are saying that's exactly what's happening. Now, when they come out and say it's not a real story, it's not happening. Excuse me. Excuse me. Then why did ABC News report? That Ohio is sending in troopers and $2.5 million into this city. For what reason do they need a massive police presence and nearly $3 million? Clearly, there are problems in this town. And it goes well beyond whether or not animals are getting taken. But that's just one story. And you can't deny this. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Trump won this one easily, handily. Democrats don't get it. I know it's going to happen. Come this weekend, I'm going to be sitting at the poker tables and there's going to be some old guy and he's going to be like, did you hear that the, the immigrants are eating dog? And some other guy's going to be like, yeah, I heard that. That's crazy. They're not going to pull up ABC News. They're not going to do research. They're going to see a viral soundbite of Donald Trump saying, and they're eating the dogs. And they're going to go first. Someone's going to say, Trump claimed they're eating dogs. Then some guy's going to go, really? I'm going to go, yeah, what a nut. Trump's crazy, right? A day later, second guy is going to purple monkey dishwasher that story. He's going to be sitting at the other poker table. And he's going to be like, hey, you guys hear about them uh, migrants eating dogs? And someone's going to be like, yeah, somebody was mentioning that before. It was on the debate, right? Trump, Trump was saying that. Is that true? I'm like, I heard it. So everyone's going to, what happens now is it spreads. People are going to say, I heard it's true. I heard the same thing. You heard it too? It must be true. It's an old manipulation technique, right? What you do is you tell three people a lie. And then what happens is you got guy A, B, and C. And guy A, you go to him and say, they're eating dogs. And he goes, I don't know about that. Then you go to guy B. 
and you say, they're eating dogs. And he goes, I don't know about that. Then you go to guy C, they're eating dogs. He says, I don't know about that. Then what happens? When guy A meets up with guy B, he goes, yeah, and someone told me that the migrants are eating dogs. And the guy B goes, hey, I heard that too. And he goes, you did? He goes, yeah, I heard the same thing. Really? You heard that too? Wow, that's crazy. Then guy C walks up and goes, what's up, guys? And they're like, hey, did you ever hear about migrants eating dogs? He goes, yeah, I heard that just a few days ago. And they'll go, damn. Well, it must be true then. How did you all hear about it? That's the game. They don't understand this stuff. I think Trump won, Trump won this one. And that's why. But take a look at this from ABC News. The governor of Ohio will send law enforcement and millions of dollars in healthcare resources to the city of Springfield as it faces a surge in temporary Haitian migrants. Republican Ohio Mike DeWine said Tuesday he doesn't oppose the temporary protected status under which some 15,000 Haitians have arrived in the city of about 59,000 people. But he said the, fe said the federal government must do more to help impacted communities. His news conference was held just hours before the presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former Republican President Donald Trump, where the divide over immigration policy was sure to be an issue. On Monday, Republican Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost also drew attention to the crisis when he directed his office to research legal avenues, including filing a lawsuit to stop the federal government from sending an unlimited number of migrants to Ohio communities. Um, how about the spring, town of Springfield vote on it and say, you can't be here. Under what authority can you come into people's homes in their city and do this to them? Thousands of temporary Haitian migrants have landed in the city in, a, in recent years. What would happen? Honest question. I don't know. Honest question. If the town of Ohio said, get the sheriff, get the locals, we are, we are removing these, these Haitian migrants. They're not welcome here. And they start going around and saying, you know, excuse me, sir, are you a migrant? You are? Okay, well, you got to go. What would happen? It's a tough spot because what does a guy and he's like, hey, I live here. I've, he's like, I'm not, a, I'm not a migrant. And they say, okay, fine. But how, how, do you, how does a city of, of 59,000 handle 20,000 new people? Where do you put them? This will destroy the community. It will destroy their way of life. So I wonder. I suppose I, I can predict what's going to happen. These people will likely do nothing. They'll complain about it. And they'll say, well, you know, it's bad. But are they having kids? I don't know. So we'll see, obviously, how this plays out, to be honest. I think it's, it's fair to say with the Ohio government sending in money, spare me your debunked manipulations. The story is it's all over the place. So I don't know what's true. The government is reacting as though something is happening right there. September 10th, 2024, just yesterday reported. So I'll wrap this one up there. Next segment will be coming up at 6 p.m. on this channel. And for you guys, the conspiracy of Kamala's earpieces. Oh, boy. Heck of a debate last night. It certainly was fun. Smash the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Share the show with your friends. Become a member by going to TimCast.com and clicking join us. For 10 bucks a month, you can help us fight fake news. So thank you all so much for hanging out, and we'll see you all at 6.